Good day, we're talking about shelters and actually politics. Because to me, this uh, the line between politics and activism, they start to be really, really, really blurry. And in the last weeks and months, I've been like reading a lot of local politics and international politics and really trying to understand the picture and what is the common ground. And of course, yeah, also like a common sense, not as common as we might like to believe. Uh, <laughs> It's like really amusing. Um, anyhow, like when we're talking about like how we are living and why we are doing, how we are doing things, I think there's like topics where I feel like we don't really want to talk about it. Like, you know, it's like too inconvenient. You lose people on the way. And I'm like, really like, you know, why the tiptoeing? You know, why the tiptoeing? Why not just, you know, I think we, we need to name the kid by the name, right? It's like, we have the shit hitting the fan. I mean, like, how much more do we want to see shit hitting the fan? So, um, and, and of course, it's like, that's just, you know, that's not a sad thing in itself. You know, that's just like, you know, observation, a reality. So like, we are literally consuming our planet away. We are cutting the branch that we are. So um, I don't know, what's the point of um, tiptoeing around this? And at the same time, like, I think it's really, really like, you know, important to share and say life can be so much easier like life can be so much easier and and um, understandable for most of us and the beauty of this is like we don't need to wait for politics to change right we don't need to get i don't know some some poor climate compromise the paris agreement what a poor compromise and we celebrate it i mean like yeah, better than nothing, sure, but, you know, poor compromise, by far not meeting our reality. So, but the beauty is that we can do so much more in our own lives just by choosing to do so much more in our own lives. And, and it's in our own interest because it just, you know, makes life a lot more easier, understandable, uh, worthwhile. Um, I mean, like living life in a different way, and I'm not talking about reducing to anything, like this is really not, we're not talking about reducing, we're talking about upgrading our lives from the beginning, you know, all the way through. And, and it's not the amount of stuff that we need to learn, like it's the amount of stuff that we need to unlearn. Like, there are, you know, there's some habits and ideas that we just got, you know, grown used to and cannot imagine the world without. Yeah, well, if we don't try, like, of course we cannot. And anyhow, um, that was it for the moment. Yeah, living space. Yeah, that was how it started. 42 square meters per person in Finland. Come on. Like, this is what we have. And something over 40 square meters in Europe per person living space. Like, where does this make sense? You know, heating all this space and use it. Most of those shelters are using energy all the time, no matter if someone is home or not. And... And we just, that's just how it is. And we leave the lights burning. Like if, you know, it's really like not black magic to make the electricity that you need for your own life, right? The electricity, you know, I'm living off grid. And in the winter, that means like making, using muscle power actually to make electricity. Um, but that's okay. Because I get an idea of like how much energy, energy we use and need. Now, when I see like somewhere light burning without any reason, nobody looking at it, feels really 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 weird so just as an example we really grew used to leaving the lights on and it's really like about switching off and switching on switching on like you know a new way of looking at things and yeah i mean why not we need a new story we know that we need a new story we know we cannot continue like this i think majority of us if you like ask anyone like do you think life is great or can you know can we continue like this or does something need to change I think majority of people say yeah something should change you know and then we do really weird works like you know sitting in a factory thinking about how to produce spoons in a more sustainable way while we already have more spoons than people on this planet i mean um yeah sometimes like really interesting funny almost what to think how to think about this um and there are like so many things to do it like there's no no one solution and that's like so beautiful like we have ideas all over the world like and low tech really low tech is really a good direction to think 
in general. I mean, there are different low-tech solutions for different environments and different life situations, but low-tech in general and like bicycle speed. I mean, what a luxury, like, you know, traveling through life with a bicycle. Like you just see so much more. You could say like you'd still see the same amount because, you know, your screen is still the same size. Um, but you're not going into tunnel vision when you're on the bicycle. And I, I think many, like, I, I hear, like, you know, like, but I cannot think that way. You know, I cannot live, uh, you know, I just live so far away that, um, that I need a car. And I think that's something we learn in the corona now, that the, the pandemic we all we've been waiting for almost. <laughs> Sorry to say, but um, what we notice in the in the pandemic is we can actually work from home. Many of us we have other ways to do things. We can travel less, and when we have to travel, we can car share, um, bicycle share, or pool, and and just share in general. And when I think about like what kind of works we are doing and we are ready to travel for them like really far distances even flying for the work i mean like needing aeroplanes to feed ourselves that's a bit that's a bit too many detours for my liking um so when i think about like this idea of just not doing jobs that are available for the money right like just doing things that make sense and there's not much left i mean there's like really not many works that really really make sense and are really really important um we have a lot of works that happen to have something to do with our huge globalized world, you know, our information thirst and our communication thirst and and products from here and there and avocado to Finland and I don't know what. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that is not really necessary and that means we have a lot of capacity, a lot of people who have time to uh, grow their own food, for example. And like there is some some goodies already now in the garden here in the herb spiral parsley and some mint is coming already so how cool is that okay i'll leave you with the mint have a good time bye bye